We also have this beautiful glass book that was uh, conceived of and created by Kelly Driscoll, who's sitting right here, who was inspired by these verses uh, translated by Zahra and the entire project put together by Vincent. And I really wanted to show that this tradition continues into the 21st century. I was once at a talk that Zara gave and she referred to herself as the, as a lorry. She was not a translator or a poet, she was a truck. She brought, she brought these words forth and I thought, well, it's, a, it's quite an incredible truck she's right. brought in. And I wanted to do something that was strictly, you know, that was really about life. And I think this was a very immediate thing uh, then I came up with this idea of working in glass, and so I ran down to Canal Street and had plexiglass cut, and was trying to make a, a little maquette to convince uh, Vincent and Zara that this could be possible. But it was also uncharted territory. I had never worked in glass. I had no idea how this could be done. Wow. You s you'll see when you go downstairs how beautiful it is to see these words that have been laser etched into the panes of glass, how they reflect off of each other. But we also wanted to have them sort of stepped and, and pulled away from each other so that the light could sort of dance off of these panes of glass. And every time that it is exhibited and it's put in a case by a curator or designer, both Kelly and I say, we discover new things about it. 